Hi, in the previous videos we have seen a lot about uh, banking, mainly about Reserve Bank of India, types of banks in India, NRE, NRO, FCNR deposits, accounts, types of accounts, it means current account and savings account in India and also we have seen about uh, crossing of the checks and then endorsement, the latest one. Now we will see what are the special types of bankers customers what are the customers we have what is we'll have we have minor minor so types of customers minor and then uh, we have uh, Under minor itself, we have guardianship, and then minor opening account as uh, minor himself. Then we have married women. Then Pardana Shin women. And then illiterate. Illiterate person. And then we have lunatics. Lunatics. And then trustees. We have trustees uh, opening accounts. And then executors. and administrators executors and administrators and then we have uh, joint accounts normal joint account we have then we have HUF, then we have task, trust, association, society and club, then we have partnership, and then we have limited liability partnership, and then limited company. Under limited company, you have private limited company and then public. So these are the types of accounts we have on a, in the banking system. So we will see, see in brief uh, what are the you know powers available, what are the things they can do. So as a bank, what we uh, you know we can uh, uh, expect from these, we will see one by one. Followed by of course two to three questions from what we have learned in this. So, you, you are all aware, um, who are the three people who are incompetent for contract? First is minor, the next is lunatic, who is the third person who is incompetent for a contract? Who, a person who takes 8 pm after 8 pm, meaning a drunkard. But how do you define a drunkard? Minor you can define by age. Lunatics you will know when that person doesn't have comprehension. But how how will you know that person a drunk is a drunkard? Meaning when he visits the branch and when he is on the position of signing, when he is when he is signing. If he is drunk, if he is not in the position to sign properly or understand what you speak, then that person is a drunkard and should not be entered into any contract. He should not entertain that. So these are the three people incompetent for contract. So coming back to minor, um, where is this uh, mentioned? 
it is mentioned in indian majority act not minority act that is different thing so it is mentioned in indian minority act a person who has not completed 18 years of age is called minor in case there is a you know guardian appointed by the court then the majority comes at the age of 21 this is mentioned in the indian contract act that speaks says about minor is not capable of entering into any valid contract so then uh, um, on may 6 2014 reserve bank of india has informed if a boy has attained boy or girl has attained 10 years and above that person can be allowed to open and operate account individually under individual capacity with the restrictions on the internet banking and the debit card facilities many of the banks have close to 1500 rupee uh, per time point of sale swiping and 1000 rupee on atm rupee cards are given so the banks can decide on what they can do it uh, there are two types in it one is minor opening as minor himself he needs own capacity signing the second one is minor opening with guardianship in the guardianship either the mother or the father can be guardian earlier it was it was in the law that only father can be guardian on the death of father only mother can be guardian now that is removed it can be either father or mother that can be a guardian um, no grandparents be guardian in the in the savings account of a minor when the minor attains majority that means when he reaches 18 years of age the normal documents of the minor who turned major has to be obtained and the spe- spe- specific specimen signature card should be obtained and then kept under record okay this minor since he, this person cannot be eligible for entering into any contract erroneously also the account should not overdraw meaning there should not be any debit balance in the account banker or any person cannot recover this from the minor so minor cannot be entered entering into any contract so any debit excess payment made into the account without a balance is the loss for the bank cannot be recovered if a minor enters into an agreement himself as a major he, you know but he is not declaring that he is minor but then he, he entered into a contract but later on claims such a contract is void because he is a minor that won't hold good because he has given a wrong information to the bank a minor may dot draw endorse or negotiate a check or a bill of exchange or a promissory note he cannot be sued in respect of a bill accepted by him during his minority so these are all described in indian contract act the guardian of a minor may be either a natural guardian a testamentary guardian meaning appointed by the court of law or third one is guardian appointed by the court so natural guardian is father or mother and it not include step mother or step father what is te- testamentary guardian testamentary guardian meaning a father who is a legitimate uh, uh, guardian appoint somebody as guardian for running an account that is called testamentary guardian so a natural guardian appointing somebody as an agent and the guardian appointed by the court you are aware like you know court says this person will be taking care of the minor's property till the minor attains majority he is a uh, you know guardian appointed by the court in case of married woman a debt taken by a married woman her husband shall not be liable except in the following circumstances which are the circumstances husband also liable if the loan is taken with his consent or authority and second point if the debt is taken for the necessity of the women for her sustenance so in those cases the husband will be responsible to pay the, the loan in case of married woman so pardanashi woman what is a pardanashi woman she does not deal with people other than the members of her own family it's always uh, you know she is not she is always covered with a, you know veiled across the face any contract entered to into by her might have been subject to undue influence so banks not taking a call on that it might not have been made on a free will so this is the understanding and hence uh, it's a con- uh, it's not a contract free from all the defects the banker should therefore take due precaution in opening an account in the name of pardanashi woman 
as the identity of such woman cannot be ascertained, the banker generally refuses to open up on uh, in her name. So then comes illiterate. Can an illiterate person open an account? Yes, illiterate can open an account with thumb impression. As I mentioned earlier, it can be either right hand thumb impression or left hand thumb impression. That is immediate. But then photograph is required. All documents are required. Main thing is witness who is known to the person is, and then known to the bank is required to open an account. And that person has to visit the branch every time to withdraw the amount from the account. And then the lunatics, as I told already, they cannot enter into contract because they don't have proper mind, unsound mind. So they are not competent for any contract. So trusteeship, what is trusteeship? It's an obligation to the ownership of the property. The banker should also examine the trust deed of the uh, uh, trust and all the in case of two or more trustees, banker shall ask clear instruction regarding the person or persons who shall operate the account and the bank will be collecting the um, document of all the trustees in, involved irrespective of whether they are signatory or not. So what is executor and administrator? Next one which comes. They are persons who are appointed to conduct the affairs of a person after his death. Through a will, and he is known as executor. If the person appointed as executor dies or refuses to act, the court appoints a person for the purpose of for a person who is known as administrator. The executor is one who is appointed by the will, and the person he refuses and nobody is there to execute that, then court appoints a person to deal with the estate of the uh, you know property. That person is called administrator. So with that court order, banks can open an account in this format. This will be in a savings account format. Then we have joint accounts. Under joint accounts, it can be A, B. There are various types of operations. A, B. It can be A, R, B. It can be A and B. It can be A after A, then B. So which is called former or survivor. So there are three types if you can open a joint account. It can be either or survivor, first anyone can sign. But then in the account opening form, both signatures should be there. And the second part is both should sign together. A and B meaning both should sign together. The third one is A either, means as long as A is alive, A will sign. And after that, B. So that is the other. So in case of death of this, it is very, very interesting. In case of death of any of a and B, what will, under this operational condition, what will happen? Here in this case, it is very clear, former or survivor, meaning as long as A is alive, A will be the owner, after that B, it is very simple. In this case, A or B, either A or B, meaning after A dies, B takes it. If B dies, A takes it. This is very critical, A and B. In this case, if A dies, B and the nominee will get the account. So be careful. So in, the, in this case, in the second case alone, it is peculiar B plus nominee. The settlement will happen between these two if this person is not available. So that is the uh, crux of this uh, operational parameters. And then you have Hindu undivided, undivided family where um, ancestral business is taken care of. Uh, it was earlier under Hindu succession uh, Act 1956. Um, it was mentioned that only the male member will be the Kartha and male member will be the Kopasanas. But after the uh, you know amendment of that Act in September 9, 2005, even the female members can be Kopasanas and the wife and the daughters also will have equal share on the HUF business. Female Kopasanas also can act as Kartha which was not earlier available, that is changed now. And they can also create mortgage. Then comes task, trust, association, society and club. This goes based on the bylaws of the trust is trust deed. All these are bylaws. Based on the bylaws, the bank will open account and the operating instructions will be there. It can be either savings account or current account, whichever the customer requires, depending on the nature of the uh, transactions this will be decided and all documents are obtained accordingly. What is partnership? Under partnership, this is 
this is explain relationship between the indian partnership act 1932 defines partnership as a relationship relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business on or by all or any of them acting for all so there are various types can a minor be a partner yes minor can be a partner but he cannot he will not be eligible for any loss any debts into the partnership account minor can be a partner on the death of a or the other one partner the partnership deed has to be re redone the account has to be closed and then new account has to be opened how many partners can be there minimum of 2 and maximum of 10 for ba banking for banking purposes and for non banking 20 persons are allowed where is it described number of persons in a partnership it is described under section 11 of the companies act 1956 so that is more important can a minor be a partner into this yes minor can also be partner but then no accountability and always the account should be open in the title of the firm it should not be open on the individual name individual name only the proprietorship uh, individual current account can be open and there is a uh, uh, partner who is authorized to operate the account cannot delegate it without the consent of the all the partners that you should keep in mind if a check is check payable to the firm is endorsed by a partner in his own own, own name like um, a and b uh, partnership firm is there supposing a, a wants to put it in his account that is not allowed you should not do that but if a proprietor gets a check and wants to deposit it in partnership account that is possible that he can do but partnership firm's name account uh, check should not be credited to partners individual account please make note of that and then we have LLP Limited Liability Partnership. Everything is same, excepting that it has the characteristic of limited company in this. Otherwise, otherwise it's more like more like partnership. Under partnership, if there are any debts, the debts will be for the next generation also, even though they are not partners, like father, son. So they have to make good this loss coming out of this partnership. Under LLP. it is limited only to the partnership firm and the loss cannot be handed over to the next generation or other family members so by this is limited liability what is the only document see here document required is partnership deed and apart from that kvc of the partners know your customers of the partners and in this case uh, certificate of incorporation is the only document additionally is required apart from whatever you take on this partnership and then we have limited liability under limited liability limited companies we have private limited public limited what is public limited public limited is which is public owning the share in this means is floated so documents requirement required is board resolution and then uh, uh, date of uh, board resolution then you have memorandum and articles of association and then uh, certificate of incorporation is required as far as Uh, for private and public, the only document which is additionally needed here is date of commencement of business in public uh, limited company. So this is the additional document that is required. So in short, very quickly we ran through the types of accounts which a bank can open to the customers. Now it's the question time now. A person remains minor until he completes dash years of age. How many years? And yes, you are right, 18 years of age. according to indian partnership act a partner does not possess implied authority dash what are they borrow money to undertake trade transaction to take part in business of the firm to submit a dispute related to the business of the firm for arbitration what is that he cannot have authority this is the last one to submit a dispute related to the business of the firm for arbitration that he cannot do as on individual capacity under section 125 of the companies act a charge created on the property of a company must be registered within how many days the answer is within 30 days that has to be registered the last one on the death of the depositor is nominee becomes what nominee entitled to receive the deposit but claims of legal heirs remains unaffected so the nominee is entitled to receive the amount of the deposit in case there is a nomination so always go for the nomination to the account in case there is no nomination or the customer refuses to give nomination you have to get a letter from the customer that 
I have explained the details of nomination. Bank has explained the details of nomination. Still, I am not interested in nominating. He has to sign and give it. That should be part of the application form. This is to reduce unclaimed deposit amount that has been lying in the banks. So I hope you are clear with uh, all the types of account that has been discussed here. We will meet you on further banking videos later. Thank you very much for patient, patiently watching. Please subscribe to my channel and then circulate it to the, the students and the young bankers. Bye.